Hi, I'm going to go over uh, a combination of two interesting things which I've seen. One is this document which you can find on the website called Ex Bishop Extreme Mod by Nick Malamata and Christoph Boyoko. And to cut a long story short, if you go down to page 22, there is a mail script which you can simply cut and paste. Don't cut the two applied to Blackjack, but if you just select this section here, cut and paste that into your script editor, select this section here, cut and paste into the script editor, you should get something like this appearing. So that will appear exactly to the side of your character. And what happens with that is that if you've done it correctly, you'll find that if you change this character, it changes your original bishop. And you don't need to know anything about anything else except that it will modify that. And that's great if you want to make modifications. As you can see in their document, they can come up with some quite interesting changes in the way that the face looks. And you can really go to town with that. But the problem lies in that you um, can't take full advantage of the extras that are available. So if I wanted to get my character, I'd open up my extras and I would go ahead trying to pick all my extras, uh, sorry, load the extras first, I'll load it in. So you get your extras appearing down here and all the stuff that you normally do, you pick your, your clothing. So I'll pick a shirt and I'll pick a um, suit coat and I'll pick a nice pair of pants. I think I want the disco pants more suitable for my character and some shoes. So he's got all that. Now the problem is I want my character to be a rather fat country man. So ideally what I'd like to do is to make this character fat. So when this script runs, it'll pop it over the side 30 units. If I go zero, it'll return it back to the origin. And the reason I'm doing that is because the modifications that I make on this character, I also want to happen to the clothing. And that will only happen if they're in the same important space. So it may be a little bit awkward to see things as they're happening, but that's why we've got our isolation mode. So if you're going to show isolate select view selected, it'll just show the body. And I want to make some modifications in the body. So I'll go into my front view, hold down space, left mouse click to front view, and I'll grab my soft select tool and click in the middle of the belly. And that will give me some point from which I can start to shape his belly. So the first thing I'm going to do is to increase the envelope. So I'll click on this little on button down here, and then middle mouse click and drag to increase the zone of influence of the belly. And then I'll move it back and then click on the on button again, which releases it. Then I can click on one of these outscale buttons, which activates the middle scale and to make him a bit fatter and then move that across. And so my character, can maybe shift it up so he's a bit more top heavy. Don't want to change his posture too much. I just want to make whatever's there stick out the front. And also make him a bit wider. All right. And it's important as well that that soft modifier remains there. What I mean by that is that you'll see that the S stays there after we're finished. Now, if it doesn't remain there, it's because on your soft modifier tool, you don't have preserve history on. So double click on your tool and turn it to on. So now I've got a belly, but as you can see, it's penetrating through the clothing and that's not much fun. And I've previously assigned the hat and the ears to this, so don't worry about that's part of it. Um, it'll still work. What we want to do now is to make this soft modifier work 
on the clothing that exists and then when everything's finished delete history on everything so that it is ready to be wrapped deformed to the character so the first thing you want to do is to work out how on earth can I make this soft modifier affect my clothing and my pants so that's done through an editor under windows relationship editor um, deformer sets I shouldn't say um so the last created modifier is at the bottom of the list which is the soft modifier and you'll see if you that way inclined um, that it's already assigned to one part which is this part of the body here this is the substitute body that the script that we ran earlier created now the way that the deformer relationships editor works is that you need to select something else that you also want to be affected by the same deformer so you can select that and it may not be obvious where it is so we'll open up the outliner as well it's inside the extras node under the clothing upper coat suit so we need to find the same thing so we'll go up here and close down bishop it's a pretty much a copy of the outliner but it has all these extra selections inside there but there's your extras there's your clothing and we saw it was coat suit so here comes some magic there's the coat suit there so click on it once click on it twice and it now changes to to um, go along with the modifications of the under, underlying body we can try that with the pants as well the pants down here says pants disco so we'll go down and find pants disco there it is click it once click it twice and it's now adjusted to the shape that you modified your character to last thing we had in here was the shirt upper shirt so we find upper shirt here uh, it was under coat suit I'm getting domestic blindness I can't see it um, the shirt short shirt us oh, there <laughs> okay one two and there you go it's conformed to that shape so now your character's clothing is also suited to the modification of the underlying mesh that you had. So if you wanted to give it breasts or anything else, um, it would also adjust to that shape. Not that I particularly want him to have man boobs, but if I did, that's the way I would do it. I would just go into the original shape um, underneath there. Um, let's just have a fiddle with that. Let's see if I can find, it's not gonna be easy to find now that I've done all these modifications. Probably might be easier if I we can actually undo these things. If you've done it here, if you just click on it, it disappears. And there's the shirt, it disappears. So there's your original shape here. So say, for example, you wanted to give him man boobs. Um, we go in and isolate it again. And the only way I could see that was by turning off those deformers. I could go in and say, um, create another soft selection, put it on this side here. You have to make this one fairly small because you only want it to affect that section there and move it forward and maybe scale it out you can do the same thing on the opposite side move it forward a bit and scale it up Okay, so he's got wonderful man boobs, and you'll see that we've now got soft mod set two and three, which appear in the deformers. So we go back out of our modifier, and we can start to reassign those things again. So we assign the shirt again, but we can also assign the shirt to this modifier and this modifier. Here we go, we have to do it a couple of times. Uh, it was attached okay that's done there and that's done on that side as well it may not have attached perfectly but you can see that within reason that seems to have done a reasonable job 
I'm not particularly happy with the, the modifications there, but that's just to show a point. Um, you'd obviously have to f fiddle with that quite a bit. If you don't like something, you can always go down here and select the modifier that you don't like and just delete it and it disapp completely disappears from the whole story. So that's now completely gone. So let's go back and reattach everything. So again, I'll go back and find that part of the body, which is the coat suit. Coat suit, and that's attached. The pants are attached, and we're all happy. So the step we need to do now, after you've got everything, is to assign them. So we click here to assign the extras. And it's probably not happy because I've already assigned the ears. Okay, so yeah, that was because I previously assigned the ears, I had to delete them and, and re recreate them. So that's just the same thing there. And it's been assigned now, so now you'll see that I've all been assigned. Now there is a bit of a problem with that, and I wasn't thinking because I got thrown by that. So I'll see if I can undo this a little bit. I'll undo everything that I've just done there. And hopefully it'll allow me to get back to the point where I was about to assign them because it was not a very clever thing. I'll delete the ears. And it's really important that we do this properly because if you don't do this right, then everything else won't work afterwards. So I haven't assigned them yet. I'll just get some ears quickly and a hat. That's all I did just a second ago. So I'll get my gangster hat on and before I click here to assign extras it's really important that I go back through and adjust the clothing and get rid of any history before we attach them so at the moment you've currently got a tweak and a soft modification on the shirt and you'll see that most of these objects if they're just brought in without modifying them they shouldn't have any history on them at all so it's really important that before you click assign extras that you delete history so you can either go alt shift d which will delete history or you can go edit delete by type history and it gets rid of the soft modifier that was there before so the same thing applies to the shirt you've got the soft modifier and the tweak you need to go edit delete history on the sh on the pants edit delete history we didn't do anything to the shoes, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, bit, bit of an overlap in the shirt there. I would be half tempted to just maybe select something around the outside of there. Maybe select an edge on the shirt and use a soft modifier to just quickly make it a bit bigger. So it doesn't interpenetrate. It looks like it's, it's almost interpenetrating there. It won't modify that much, but because I've done it again you see it's got history so delete history I'll use a shortcut this time alt shift D now we're ready to continue so now that they are historyless that they've conformed to the right shape of my character I can now go click here to assign and the changed shape the modified clothing now should adjust and conform to the body that's my don't worry about that one that's my original body underneath there and I can delete history on that one as well which will get rid of the the change in shape and I can even move it back to where it was before and hide it so control H hide my other head control H but what we're left with is our character ready to animate so hopefully that makes sense to you um, so using a combination of what I showed you in the previous lecture and that one, you can modify your character. And just an interesting aside here, when you at attach these things, they're not actually bound. Well, that well, things like ears aren't bound, so you can um, move them around. They're put inside groups, so that once you've done that, you can change them. Same with a hat as well. If it's in a group, although the pivot isn't centered, I would probably get that and go modify 
center pivot, which at least allows you to rotate it around its own axis a bit better, which is a much more appropriate way of working. And but these these things like the ears, they're not they're not bound, unlike the um, well, they do say wrap, but I wouldn't trust that too much. These shirts and stuff definitely don't mess with them once you've put them on but the ears I'd feel fairly confident to um, put a bit of asymmetry into into him and modify them a little bit just so that they conform better with my existing geometry so there we go that's a customized not mainstream character and that's how you do it. So if you have any problems with that, give me an email. Otherwise, um, good luck with that. And hopefully see some more interesting characters out there than what we currently see at the moment. Cheers, bye.